Welcome to the STARS program, seniors taking active roles in society. And now, here's your host, Anita Finley. Louis Autre, French artisan baker, but you know, I have never eaten food like this, and we're sitting here, we're, it's, this is an eating show, everybody, so if you're not here in the studio, you better get something in front of you, because we're going to make you very hungry. I'm sitting here with Louis, good, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon, Anita, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited so, to see you. I am so happy, and you bring all these wonderful foods. You know, Louis, the thing I think that's so, so good about you is that you love every moment of what you're doing, whether you're taking food to people, whether you're there at your restaurant, you hug men, you kiss everybody, puppies, whatever you do, you just love life. And when did that start, Loic? And I, do you mind if I start eating while we're talking? You're going to hear me go. You have to eat too. We have to all eat. I can cut some sandwich or so. You yeah, know, please. Bring some, we got uh, turkey. Some sandwich. Let's yes. just talk about what we have here before you answer me. Okay. So we got a turkey uh, avocado. Although this one, it's not bad. You know, I like it, this one. It's you avocado. Got avocado, yes. You got turkey, gouda cheese, coriander, and Caesar dressing. I don't know where it is this. And one. you have ham. Yep. Yeah. Alors là, this, this is a specialty uh, in my country to do a ham and cheese. So wherever you go, you always have a ham and cheese. You know, when you go to the metro, to the um, uh, train station, this is a most popular sandwich: ham and cheese. But what makes a big, big difference is. You can put any kind of uh, cheese and ham, but like it's I said bread. before, it's this is bread. the bread and <laughs> the butter you put inside, of course. Oh, and the butter. Yes. Oh, yes, yeah, the butter. It's always, you know, when the butter, it's a, a very good flavor. You know, like I said before, 83%, the best of it. You know, this is all the fat you have, but it's good for your body. Okay, so cut me in. I just oh, finished, yeah, 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 I just finished roast beef, which had, I think it had um, horseradish on it. Yeah, Robis, we got the, a, a provolone cheese. Okay, provolone cheese, mm -hmm. horseradish, lettuce, and, and tomato. Yeah, uh, arugula salad. Oh, it is so, it's the bread. You oh, know, bread, yeah. I have to ask you about the bread and the shape. Mm -hmm. well, how does the bread get that gorgeous rolled shape? It looks like it's layers. What? How do you do that? It's not, uh, yeah, you can't have a, a layers, you know, because... Uh, um, I'm when eating, I, so you yeah, talk because yeah, I'm eating. Me, 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 uh, oh, okay, okay you to, go, go ahead. No, 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 bite. I need to wait. I need to wait. Okay, <laughs> okay. enjoy. Mm. So, I need to answer uh, Anita's question. Oh, my God. Mm. <laughs> go ahead. Well, I need to take a bite also. Yeah, take okay? a bite. Yeah, oh, so, we're together. Uh -huh. An eating show. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Everyone has to go there. You won't believe mm -hmm. the food. Mm. Okay. So, mm -hmm. mm. so you're going to tell me how we look at this French bread like it's layered. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. So sorry, I, I got a still a lot in my mouth. Okay. Mm. You you enjoy know, with you. Huh? Something that I like. Mm -hmm. The paper is very mm -hmm. French. Yeah. You don't see this kind of paper that people wrap that up. They use white paper. You use this green and white checkered paper. That's French. But it's like, you know, on the table when you go to uh, Paris or mm -hmm. a little bistro outside, mm -hmm. they put the little red and a square mm -hmm. or uh, and inside. This is like uh, the nap uh, it's a napkin. Yeah, yeah right, on the right, table. exactly. So this is like, a, yeah, it's kind oh of authentic. God. It's like family style. Okay, so... Okay, I forget what was your question. Yeah, my question. Oh, it's the bread. Okay, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Yeah, how do you make the ripples mm. in the bread? So the bread, when you, you do your dough, you know, you, you scale the amount of dough you need for each baguette. It's like a 350 grams for each baguette. Ah, maybe wait, you want a little wait, wait, piece. Our, yes. Yes, um, our wonderful Duff wants... <laughs> no, he wants to <laughs> cut. He wants to cut the other piece he has up here. He wants to cut. He needs your big knife. Yeah, I, no, I think you that. have to start. You, you know want what? the knife? <laughs> maybe when Louise board. here, we'll have an audience. So we'll bring yes. an audience in too, so that they can eat. <laughs> oh, it'd be nice. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't that be nice? We'll allow five people to come, and they'll have to write in first, and then they'll get to come. Hey, mm. Mozzarella, basil, you like it? Mm. Okay, try You're this one. Those, you get I don't the even end. need plates. It's never going to last on a plate with me. Yeah. Merci. Ah, mais c'est mon Merci. plaisir, <laughs> monsieur. <laughs> okay, so bon, tell I us. should answer my, uh, the, your question. Mm -hmm. So you, you scale the bread, uh, 350 grams. You know, this is the amount of uh, dough you will put for each um, uh, baguette. Okay, so it's, co it's close like to um, uh, 12 um, ounces, 12 to uh, 12 uh, and a half. So after what I do, I let rest a little bit. And after I flat, but after I put one uh, one hand in the... Um, I try to... Uh, it's, it's very hard to explain. I know, but that's good. But just a little, a little process. Okay. So it gives it give, uh, like an uh, like, uh, incorporated hair inside. Mm. And after, after I, I make a, a shape of the bread, 
Et à let the rest for uh, it can be, you know, in, uh, in Florida, it's so hot, it's so humid. Even in my, uh, my kitchen, I need to put the IC, but even that, the bread still uh, proves very fast. So um, what you, you can do also, it's uh, I put uh, the baguette, all the baguette inside the cooler. And what happens, it, it gives a little uh, a little skin. So the bread is not poorer, you know, poorer, like uh, yes. when it's um, yes. just um, uh, outside. Yes. It, it starts to have a little skin because the cold stops the gas, the, stops the fermentation. But the bread still fermented just a little bit. And by doing, by keeping the bread, because in Florida it's so hot, so by keeping the bread uh, inside the cooler, The bread will, the gas will be um, um, a prisoner inside the dough. And what happens when uh, uh, the bread is uh, ready, you know, uh, mm. because I open at 7.30 in the morning. So the bread needs to be ready exactly when we open the door. So I put the bread um, in the, um, uh, in the um, how you say, the map front of uh, as a loader. Yeah. And uh, after, for the gas needs to get out. So it's for that when you see the bread on the top, when I, 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 um, I cut, you know, seven slices, seven little cut on the top of the bread, it's to, um, to allow the, the gas to get out of the bread. So the bread w will explode. But it's not baked yet. It's, it's not no, baked this, yet, oh, but oh, okay. I, I just cut it like that. Mm -hmm. And after I put only three seconds of steam inside the oven. And after I pour the bread inside, and when I take um, the loader out, the bread goes directly on the, uh, in the stone. So it's already sealed on the bottom. So the, now the gas need to go, need to go somewhere. And the only way it go out of the bread, this is where I slice on the top. It's for that, it, we said this is oh, a signature of the I baker. See. It's for that when you get a nice uh, uh, wave style. So that's where the gas is coming yes, out. Yes, the gas get out from here. Never knew that. Hey, by what? Now you learned something? Because there is bread that doesn't have that because the gas never goes out and that's why it doesn't taste the same. So, no, it's uh, sometimes time when you see the, you don't have that uh, wave on the top of the bread, it's because the bread were, were baked in the convection oven. And what happens when you bake the bread in the convection oven, you put the bread on the cheat pan, okay? Because uh, you can put your bread like that directly on your grill inside. So you put that on the cheat pan. The cheat pan, it's cold. So when you put the, uh, the cheat pan inside, so the bottom, is it's very cold. So what happened, the oven, the convection oven will eat too fast the top. Ah. So now the cut you do on the top, the gas will not go uh, from the top because it's sealed by the heat. So the, uh, it will go from the bottom. So it's for us, sometimes time you get the bread crack on the side or on the bottom, it's little open because the gas need to get out. And by doing that in the convection oven, the crust is very... Thin, you know, because it's not the gas didn't go. It can go from the top, but only for the bottom. But because it's on the top of the of the sheet pan, it will be it, not all the gas will get out. So this is a big difference when you got an oven when you bake from the stone is uh, when you bake on the um, convection oven. Okay, so well, Loic, that was fantastic because Thank no you. one's ever explained that before, and, and most of us. Have no idea what you're talking about <laughs> I know. because they have to go there and see this and you do it you yes. have all these people in the back mm -hmm. working first of all there's a huge i don't know how big is that big metal bowl it's not a bowl whatever it is the mixer yeah the mixer and everything's going in that and that you take that from that and that's what you start to make your other your bread with right yes is correct. that that's mm -hmm. the bread yeah but it's and, and you were telling explaining something to someone who came in and said Oh, I was trying to make a uh, croissant, and this is what I, <clears throat> excuse me, what I was doing. I'm going to have to get some water for us. So you keep talking. Oh, he's going to get us some water. Oh, we thank have you Duff, very much. Duff's going to get a water because <coughs> I'm eating too much. I'm eating too much. I love this. It's like, you know what? This is very sexy. Wait, I have to say this. Oh. Is it? No, no, listen. Yes. This is very sexy. Remember Tom Jones in that movie? There was a movie where people were eating grapes and they were all over their face. They were eating the grapes. Anyways, you're too I young. was born? Yeah, no, you probably weren't born. <laughs> you weren't born yet, but it was a very... Sec and that's what this is like. It's like, mm -hmm. I am feeding my face as fast as I can. You're eating as much. And you know, you eat this all the time and you never get tired of it, do you? Uh, no, 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 because, you know, it's so fresh. It, it's, it's good so because fresh. this is exactly the sandwich you need with the yes. weather like that, you know, because it's yes. a hot weather and you need to, to eat uh, fresh... You need to eat. Thank you very much. I, I just got my water. Thank you very much. So it's good because with the weather, it's what is nice because you should eat. This is a fresh sandwich with a nice salad. 
It's what we do when um, um, in my country when it's very, the summer because we yeah. gather all the season. We got the four season over there. Yes. But in, in the summer we eat light, so we can eat sandwich, barbecue. But and of course you need to have the salad, but everything fresh. It's what uh, I love it. And I try to bring that uh, to uh, Derry Beach where uh, I got the bakery. That's exactly where. And I want to tell everybody about that. Now the way you're going to get there is you're going to take Federal Highway and you're going to go north on in Delray you can just start going north and you'll see George Bush Boulevard on your right right across the street there's a CVS and right next to them you're going to see this fantastic French bakery now there are other French bakeries you know all over they put up their sign French bakery but I have to tell you this is from France I think actually Loic uh flew in on his helicopter <laughs> with all his special stuff dropped down and that's it. And we have him a prisoner. We're not letting him leave because between his aphrodisiac chocolate cookies, and I have to tell you more about those cookies in a minute. It's very sexy, but I'll tell you anyway. And um, between the sandwiches, and of course, I never know which one I want. I like the roast beef. I like the ham and cheese. But you know, it's the ingredients and something else. The people who make this, they care as much as you, you do, Loic. I got a great team. Okay, uh, you know, it's very hard to find a team to do the same work as the way I want. So now uh, I build a team, it being uh, four months. So, you know, you got people coming, people go, but I need to find the, the right people. You know, they love what they're doing. And for now, I, I'm so pleased because I can do, I can do nothing with the amount of work we have. I will not be available to do anymore by myself. No, so no. with the team I got, it's great because they love, they, they feel the passion also. And they can, uh, you can feel, everybody told me, um, all the week we feel the passion in the bakery right. for everybody uh, working. Because, you know, you got windows. And I did on purpose. That's right. I put windows so you can see the oven. You can see who puts the bread in the oven. You can see the way we do <laughs> right. it because I want right. to be transparent. Yes. I want people can see everything get out of the kitchen is made on the spot. So you got you got windows. Even when you go to the bathroom, you can have time to look at it. <laughs> so you can see everything. Okay, now we have this. We're now eating this fantastic pudding. Talk about the pudding. Oh. Mm. That day, it was nice. I was um, I was on the front, and uh, wait, I got wait, wait. This is a this is a quiche, basically. Made with quiche. What is this it's made a with? Similar, it's a similar. It's with eggs and milk. You know. But it's a, a sugar. But this is uh, at that day. It was I was on the I was at the front. And I got uh, I got some extra croissant. And I said, uh, okay, I need to to find out what we can do. And uh, Rachel, my, my pastry chef, and uh, she's great. And uh, she was uh, she tried to make me happy and to take uh, initiative. So I was on the front. And I come back and I said, uh, oh Luke, uh, what do you think? I make that. I said, oh great. So it's a great idea. Let's see. And after we talk about it, and she put orange. After we put. Um, uh, pistachio to make better. And that day when you were there, it was the first time and we put it and everybody loved it. So now we do another one. So now when we got leftover of the almond croissant, like a pistachio uh, white chocolate almond croissant, the raspberry almond croissant, the chocolate almond croissant and the plain croissant leftover, we cut them. I put uh, belly, you know, the alcohol Irish belly. Yes. And we put chocolate. We mixed all together and now we do a ra uh, 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 almond uh, bread, chocolate bread pudding. It's the same. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's insane. Simple. You know, it's, uh, it, it's, it's simple, but because you use the right ingredient, it's what it makes a big, big difference. You know, I was telling Louis, and you, you're old enough. He, he isn't old enough to know. Remember Tom Jones in that movie with the grapes? Lying down and they were eating the grapes. Maybe you're not old enough. Oh my God, I'm really, I'm really showing my age. Uh -huh. Anyway, it was a big Tom Jones oh. movie. Okay, and uh. it was so sexy. And I said, you know, I could picture this. We could put the mics all the way down on the floor, and we could be lying down on the floor eating all this stuff and eating the bread. I mean, this is very sensual, isn't it? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. He's a, <laughs> this Excuse gorgeous me. Frenchman <laughs> saying, looking at me and saying, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> No, we're not getting on the floor right now. We're eating. Yeah, but the Keep food. Keep it separate. I'm sorry. Food. Oh, what, my God. What this food is does. so good. When you got good food, bring <gasps> people. It does. A, a, you enjoy to be a family time or friend time. A, you, uh, the food, it brings uh, people together. You know, like mm. you got games. People love games. But when you eat nice food, it's what people... Uh, no, no, it's a fine. It's uh, for uh, you. I love it. Um, 
it's but yes, it's very uh, sensual. Um, it depends what kind of stuff you eat, you know. Yes, that's right. Eat, they say you are what you eat. You know that. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, this is where we're eating a lot of one. great stuff. So um, let's go over, though, the whole idea of um, the, the French bread is mm -hmm. the key. If you, if you had opened and you didn't have the French bread and you had all these other good things, it wouldn't be. It just wouldn't be. It. It, even your croissants are wonderful, but it's not the same. The, but you know what? The croissant, it's what it makes also the big difference. Okay. Because when you people buy croissant, it's all the same everywhere, like a Danish dough. Or, it's not like, uh, because people, like, you, you know, people travel now more. And you got the Nequa Food Channel, so you can see what's going on. So people at the start, when I was doing my croissant, they didn't even believe I was making I said, uh, excuse me, yeah, you don't see it? And they said, Yeah, but because they didn't believe, because nobody uh, particularly make croissant, because, you know, when you make a mistake, it's a lot of money you lose, because you, you see that only in the end. So I said to myself, I said, I will prove to them something they're wrong. I will make, you know what, a long one, because, you know, the long one you got to everywhere, they are very small, you know, they look like a, yeah, those a little piece bit, of a... Yeah, those yeah, little baby, things, like it's something you get on the beach. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so chill. I said, you know what, I will do a new croissant. I will make long, but that so long, so nobody saw them before. And I will say, but this is the way uh, we start. We make the raspberry almond croissant. And this is at that time, people said, yeah, Loic makes the croissant. And after by word to mouth, it's how he, he became uh, so successful because people can see somebody took the time. It took uh, his, uh, uh, the love, a passion to just show what is the real food we eat in my country, the real bakery, you know, the, what we, we love to eat. And to do that, you have to be very passionate because this is a lot of work. And I make uh, that recipe on, uh, in my own at the start when I was a long time ago uh, at the hotel. May I say the hotel or not? Yeah, yeah. I was working at the Four Seasons in Palm Beach. And it was my first job. And I need to prove them, okay, they hired me. I didn't speak English, nothing. So it was nice. So I said, uh, I have to do something for them. So and when I, uh, I did that on the small kitchen, you know, in my little apartment, I got a Breton Beach. Uh, so I did with a little <laughs> kitchenette mixer. So I tried to see an older bakery to give me a fresh yeast. I tried to do my recipe. I tried to play with the flour. It's how I got a, a new recipe. I created that uh, new recipe for 14 years now. So now after it's playing with the cold and stuff like that. But it's what it makes a very a big difference. It's be passionate. You do a great food. If you, don't, if you just make it, just to make it, it will be not the same test. And people can feel it. Well, I have to tell a story. Yes. I, we, I take as many people there as I can because I want everyone to know about it. And I took a friend there last week. And he got the croissant. And he was going crazy. And he said, I have to get some butter. And I didn't watch him what he was doing. He brought some butter over. And you came over to us. And he almost, you almost fainted. Tell him the story and what you said to him. He was so apologetic. He, would, he, he still talks about that. Yeah, but, you know, I make the croissant. I, I try to, to put just, uh, we, we put the right amount of butter to be uh, perfect, okay? And after I came to see you at the table, and I see your friend, and what he does? He cuts the croissant half. Okay, no big deal. You know, maybe you won't put a little gem. I saw him put butter on it. I said, hey, you know, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, it, but why, what are you doing? Why you put more butter? Everybody said, Oh, you know, I gain weight because I put uh, uh, too much uh, fat and stuff. But I don't know what you're doing. The croissant have enough butter. I want you to to have to have the right to to test the, the right way. But after, of course, he looked at me like, uh, oh, oh my gosh. Was... But you know, um, when you no, you no, want... he was teasing him. He was okay, but I, 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 yeah, yeah, but I did, he knew I did, you I did, were right. Um, yeah. He says it doesn't need it. It's a habit. It was just a habit. But you talked about the croissant. Then you talk about the butter. You put a lot of butter in your very high quality butter in everything that you make. Is yes. that what we're really tasting, that high quality of the products, the ingredients? Ah, but you know what? Uh, the butter is a big part of it. Après, this is uh, how you do the portion of your recipe, of course, but the butter, yes, the butter, the vanilla you put, not too much. Because, you know, you got uh, everywhere you go, sometimes time when people do, uh, tiens, we will eat a salad with, uh, you know, uh, with a uh, uh, blue cheese uh, uh, seasoning. You know what? What you eat, it's only blue cheese. So for me, you used to eat, you know, when you eat um, a donut, it's so much sugar before you test even the donuts. So what I want people me is they eat the food first. So I don't want them to be too much, too much uh, overwhelmed of uh, products. And after it's like everybody else. So you have to have 
just just the flavor you need in your mouth. Okay, that is what it makes a big difference. So when I eat a salad, I always said, please put the sauce on the side because I will do my own at the restaurant because it's too much, you know. So now you used to eat uh, like a, a blue cheese. So this is not a salad blue cheese. This is a blue cheese with salad you eat now. Correct. So um, what are you doing here? I'm taking pictures of all the food. <laughs> taking pictures of all the I don't know what to say now. Um, yeah, what was your question, by the way? Uh, yeah, my question was about the quality of what you're using. It, you say, the one woman came up to you and she said um, that she was making croissants herself, uh -huh. you know, and you were very kind to her. And you wound up giving her some special yeast that she yes. had never seen or heard about. So it's, isn't that what we're really eating, besides all your, the, all your knowledge and how uh -huh. to make it? But you are not skimping on any of the ingredients and in anything you're doing. No. Uh, by the way, I'm always uh, uh, kind with people. Uh, you are. <laughs> <laughs> I just let you know in case. Um, what? No, because she was. She looked like she was passionate. And she tried to do uh, even a bread and croissant at home. And I said, "What did you use?" And she told me she used like the dry yeast. I said, "Oh no! Oh my gosh! No! 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 That is not good." Um, so I said, "Listen." I said, "Let's try that." Okay, I got fresh yeast. I will give you the freshness because I want you to enjoy the right way because you, you look like passionate that you try to do that kind of uh, food at home and I do respect so much. So I went to my refrigerator and I show her the yeast, the way, the way it looks, and I make her smell. And I said, okay, now take that, put, make sure it's uh, in the dark so it doesn't uh, get too, uh, too bad. And uh, she, she left the, the bakery, but so happy because she, she will uh, do her recipe with the right ingredient. By the way, I never heard about it. No, I haven't. She no, no, you too, no? No. Oh, maybe she will come in one day to yeah, tell me, uh, no, or take a picture, no, said, oh my God, Louis, can we, oh God, look, 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 look. No, she was very happy that you did it. You see, this is the other thing we haven't really talked about, is that how many other people like you who are chefs, I'm walking around the room, they can hear me, I have a very strong voice. Uh, how many chefs like you, owners... Uh, who who are doing all this care enough? Usually, you're in the back, you know, giving orders, but you like to be in the front. But yeah. you're a front guy. Yeah, you I'm like the front. front better, don't you? I can tell. Oh okay. yeah. Okay. <laughs> but just to see all the everybody so enjoy the food, it's 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 so fun. You know, when you you work so hard for 15 years, uh, it would be by the way 15 years August 9, I've been in the United States. So I've been working so hard to make uh, my, myself after to, to build a dream with uh, my, my two uh, partners, uh, two owners, um, and uh, to build a team. So we have a, a very nice team to build now a dream and to make sure people will, will eat uh, the, the, the right products. But it's a, it's a bonheur for me to see people, how they express themselves like I said, some people uh, buy something, it looks like uh, they buy, um, you know, like a, uh, a, a diamond. You know, uh, when I see their face, they got something. This is so beautiful to see people enjoy food like that. Of course, I want to be with them and I want to explain to them because I want to make sure they know everything is made here and by a French baker, not like, uh, you know, uh, mostly people say the French baker, but nobody uh, speak French. So I want to make sure they know <laughs> right, I'm here. I didn't work. I didn't work hard. I didn't go to school French. for nothing. So I'm sure you can tell I'm French. But after they can meet all my team, you know, I bring my some of my team sometimes time to talk to people because I want to be like a, a bakery, like a family time. You know, it's a, you, you're not here just to buy and go. You, if you want to stay and talk to um, to uh, one of the owner or talk to the baker or talk to uh, one chef, we can explain. Sometimes I take somebody to go to the kitchen. Okay, so I said, look uh, how I do the croissant. So I like to expose um, our food to people to know everything is made with our love and passion. Definitely. Yes. You know, something that we should talk about, even though you didn't make it, you chose it. The tea. I bought a can. I bought the tea. Oh, Nina you know. teas. Oh. That tea. I mean, when you made the tea, I, I mean, I was eating, I was eating flowers. What was that? Talk about that tea and why do you even have it there? Oh my gosh, we got a, this is a new tea. It's a, uh, it's a Nina's tea. Um, and uh, they, they came, they are French. And uh, it got a tea, it's a Marie Antoinette. Alors, this yes, one, oh, this one, it's unbelievable. Uh, and we got a little uh, note to explain to people when they go by the little uh, uh, can. And the can is beautiful, it's pink, and you can see 
the picture of Marie Antoinette, but they got the exclusivity to redo the same tea used to drink Marie Antoinette. So, for that, they use exactly the fruit and the flower from the Queen Garden in Versailles. So, they got the exclusivity to take only the flower from the garden in Versailles to do that tea. That's it. They are the only one can do it. So, and uh, we, we, we find a way at the bakery, AS, with that tea, you can take um, a, a French press, you know, the mini one French press. Yes. And that is great because when you put the tea inside, you put the hot water, but don't forget, do not boil too long the water. When it starts to boiling, it's where you stop after you put the water inside. And you put um, uh, the top of the French press, uh, French press uh, pardon, uh, and to press a little bit, just halfway. And after I got a little, uh, you know, timers when you can see. I uh, saw the timers. Light with three different colors. I don't have the timers at home, but that's okay. I don't know. No, no, have but them. you don't need that. No, it's, it's just, uh, it just cute. Uh, it's, it's just cute. cute. Yeah. And you go. This is the effect because, you know, when you got a nice tea like that, you have to have uh, something uh, very well because this is very high quality. But what is uh, uh, interesting is when you put the tea inside the, uh, the water, inside the, um, the French press, and you press just uh, halfway, you can see a light color on the top is a darker color, but you can see all the flowers, the petals, and the fruit grow uh, bigger and bigger because they, are, they start to absorb the water. It's what is fun. And after, you just need to press down one time, go up and go down and after you drink. But you can see it's not powder. This is the real... This is and, a, and you taste, I have to oh say, gosh, you taste yes. the, the flour. I, I bought a can. Mm -hmm. I was going to give it away as a gift. And oh, I, yeah. This no, is a, no, yeah, no, but not no, more, no. Huh? I'm keeping it. Oh, by no, God. I did, <laughs> maybe I'll have to uh, buy imagine, another one. Uh, I had to keep it. Imagine it's, that with the chocolate cookie. Yeah, right. <laughs> I know with my chocolate. Oh, oh, I put that God. with my chocolate uh -huh. aphrodisiac cookie. I'm in trouble. But wait, <sighs> yeah. I'm going to go back to this. A French yeah. press is really for coffee, isn't it? Yeah. But you invented it for tea. But we have invented, uh, like, uh, with uh, Ludo, is a manager on the front of uh, the yeah. bakery, so hi, Ludo. And uh, what uh, we did is um, we said, okay, let's do something. So let's try with uh, uh, French press. And the people were selling the tea are French, and they said, oh, my gosh, it's a great idea. I said, yeah, look, and after we tried different uh, black tea, green tea, you got a pink tea. And you can see the color, but it's so beautiful on the table. But you can see that on the Facebook, or some people put that on uh, uh, Instagram. Uh, I don't know which one, but know? some people took picture because he looks so beautiful. He looks like a, an aquarium, you know, an aquarium. Yeah, the aquarium and you can see, yeah, 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 like, like a fish, but it's a flower moving. It's beautiful. Yeah. And I think it, it's uh, we like to do something in the bakery. It's uh, not like everybody else, you know, like authentic, authentic. But you need to do with everything fresh. I know, but we have to make sure people get there. So let's just do this oh, again. You. The address is eight one four Northeast Sixth Avenue in Delray. And you can go on the web to L-O-I-C, which is Louis, who we're talking to, Autre, A-U-T-R-E-T, bakery.com. Louis, Autre, bakery.com. You'll also be able to see this on YouTube. So go to, uh, you would go to um, Boomer Times Presents, and you'll be able to see Louis, and I will be, <laughs> they're not going to have a picture of me. We're going to have a picture of uh, Louis doing um, what he's been doing, eating, and and doing talking and mm -hmm. and you know I don't want to run out of time because every there's so much to talk about well let's go back to the chocolate cookies oh yeah that's my favorite it's the sex cookie and um and he, it puts it in little boxes and as a matter of fact for those of you who are listening you're coming to the boomer times you're coming to the expo we will have a box of those cookies we're giving away as one of our prizes so um you, you but when you get it you better run out because everyone's going to want to eat those cookies in the box you have to go there and get those cookies. Tell us the story of the cookies. How sure? did you invent it? Why did you invent it? What What are they? Are you sure you want to? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's kind of do that. Bit private. I'm eating. Are you really, talk. really? I'm eating. Mm, okay. I'm eating. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> okay, I will, I, will, I will keep talking. So, but you can eat. Okay. I'm eating. No, that, that, uh, the, the cookie, um, uh, it's a way to, to bake it, you know. Um, everybody can, uh, you know, make uh, the cookie. But the way to bake it, not all the way because you got so much chocolate. And, you know, women love chocolate. This is a, such an aphrodisiac. Like you've been doing an article, like you said, it is. Uh, in the internet. This is really an aphrodisiac. It is. And uh, like I said, you put, uh, put a little coffee, vanilla, you know, and... Um, but. This is just the effect to see the people, you know, when uh, that cookie, I don't know why, it's, uh, 
you know, it's like a, a, an M1. It's 52 shades of Loic. It's just because it's so fun. But, but how did you invent it? That's what I want to know. You make other cookies. How did you make that? Why did you do that? This one is just, um, you know, by uh, the, all the year I've been uh, walking to um, uh, different places. So we got, uh, you know, we, we got a recipe from others and stuff. So you mixing. After this is the way you, you put different flour. I put two different kind of uh, um, Belgium chocolate. Ah. Um, so this is uh, with all those years by um, learning, by working to other place. After you, you mix different things and you play with, and after the way you put, uh, you cook that. So I uh, find a way to make that cookie if, uh, splendid is when it can be a little bit soft, you know, when it's on uh, <coughs> you see, like, uh, are you okay? You know, I'm okay. okay. I'm eating too much. <laughs> <laughs> Too much, you know. You, I'm putting on weight since I met you. I have to tell you because no, no, I'm no, that. nobody will come in. Come on, I know, I know. I'm no, no. It's because it's just too good. I mean, everybody. I go there often. Some people just go, even if you go twice a week. But to bring the bread home. But the cookies, you know, if you're going to have a party, you have to buy some of the pudding, yeah, which is absolutely fabulous. And then you should buy some of the cookies. Now, I could see having vanilla ice cream, a gorgeous champagne glass of vanilla ice cream. And take the cookie and just kind of put it on the edge. You know, mm-hmm. like you could like stab the edge of it mm-hmm. and serve it to someone. I mean, that, no one would ever forget you. They wouldn't. Yes. Really? Yep. Oh, my gosh. You know, seriously, let's think I about this. This is some yes. dessert. Yeah. Well, I guess we've run out of time, Louis. Oh, uh, no. We, yeah, 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 yeah. We've run out of time. But we're it gonna, was fun. Well, we'll do more. We're going to do okay. more. A lot of this with you, you're going to become the... The pastry chef on the, on the radio. <laughs> it's so fantastic. But um, everyone should really go in there. Make sure you do uh, the phone number to call if you want to find out more about. Well, just don't call them. They're too busy. Just go there. Uh, just go on Federal Highway. Go north on in um, on Federal Highway. Pass in, in Delray where you'll see George Bush Boulevard on your right. Address is 814 Northeast 6th Avenue. And that's 33483. And say, and Loic will be there. Say hello to him. Tell him you heard him on the radio. Thanks, Loic. Thank you, Ewa, to say very thank you to you, Anita, to uh, it's always make a me pleasure. come. And uh, it's thank you for pleasure. my team, uh, guys. Thank you very much at the bakery and uh, all my uh, uh, my investor and my partner. Thank you so much. We support you guys. It will not happen. So thank you. And all the people who love you. <laughs> I love you too, Anita. Mm-hmm. Bye.